Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Hello to everybody. Hi, Elena, Red Lorraine, Helpful Natural, Bruja Rubia, Maha is here, Cauldron Born. Welcome to the first live I was able to make it to. Awesome. Hi, Christy. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. What do we see? What divination can we make of the pattern on, on the top of my coffee? Freshly made for the stream. I do see a little heart right there. A heart in the clouds, maybe. Something about um, air travel. This looks like it could literally be the window out of an um, airplane. Hello, Kelly. Welcome, everybody. Oh, a hair from the brown. Shooting stars and a heart. So I'm going to start with the thing, what I do every time, which is using a kneaded eraser to remove some of my lines, uh, darkness, but I actually don't mind the dark lines this time. I'm going to try a new method where you shade in a lot of stuff and then it shows up underneath the paint. I've seen this on the interwebs. I hope it works. So I don't want to make my lines too light. Red Lorraine says, I love her. I like her too. She's my second try. My first one did not come out as good. I'm a little bit nervous today because I'm doing something that is not from my own culture. So if I make any mistakes, I hope somebody will let me know. Okay, I think that's probably good enough for me. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And I have not prepared my palette, so let's take a look at um, the palette that we developed, that I developed with um, Scarlet Nymph for Mama and Bridget. I love this wax skull. I feel like the packaging, you've got to, you got to peel this off and save this from the packaging and use it for something else. Cause you can, you can, uh, you can absolutely save this, this wax and reuse it in like a book of shadows or something like that. I got to save mine. Elena says, I was reading about her before we did this live stream, and she sounds phenomenal. Quite a goddess in her own right. These are the colors. Mm. 
we have kind of an asphalt blue black here and then a flat black a midnight blue and two different purples like a purple and a magenta and then a color shifting purple to see if I can get that you can kind of see it goes to like a purpley burgundy and then to white And they're all stamped so with the scully face. Oh, I love them. Uh, let's see. I was okay. Hit the thumbs up. There are 18 people here, says Kelly. <laughs> Bridge says, Hi from Australia. Love your drawing. What a sassy lady. Sassy is right. She is known for her cursing. Like, not cursing like hexing, but cursing like cursing you out. Let me see here. I love these chunky ones. They're like so overfilled. Look how much paint you get. And they're magnetic, so you can... Uh, magnetize them to the tin. So I'm going to turn the tin over and use the magnets to stick my little guys down. I just don't want my dark colors to get into my light colors. Hello to Bridge and hello to Good Juju. Hello to anybody I have missed. And typically I would spray these paints and let them set for a while to get gooey, but I didn't have time before the stream. So we're gonna just work with what we have. I'm just going to put a nice juicy drop of paint, I mean water, on each one of these guys and let it set for a second. There we go. Hey practitioners, quick question. Is indigo water a closed practice? I want to respect other cultures and religions and couldn't find anything about it being closed online. I have to say, I don't know what indigo water is, so I can't answer that one. So let's see. What we need is some. We already have our magenta for our roses, but I do want to add a little bit of red in there. So we're going to need a little bit of red as well. Make it nice and juicy. I watched a video earlier this week. And it was a person who had 315,000 subscribers. And she wasn't getting any reach on her videos. And she wasn't getting her videos pushed out to anybody. So she wasn't getting views. 
And so she decided that she was going to close down her channel and start a new one. I just about had a heart attack. Do you know how much I would love to have 300,000 subscribers? And I try to get a, a warm tone, like a brown warm tone for the skin. So I'm going to try a few different browns. Let's see what I can, where I can get. I always struggle with skin tone because I feel like it comes out too light. So we'll see if those browns will help us. And we absolutely need a bunch of white because I want to do the bone. I want to use white for the bone. And then add a little brown in later to uh, make it look bone colored. But I want a ton of white for my skulls and the bones in her neck. And then we're going to do purples and blacks for the rest. And we have purple and black in the palette here. And I also want to do um, some from some from my palette as well. That is a dark. I'm going to take that purple and mix it with another one and try to get a light purpley background. So it needs tons of water and maybe this violet color. Karen, Boulder Girl 528. <laughs> Hello from Boulder, Colorado. First time I've made it to a live. Hello. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I've been missing a bunch of chat. I'm sorry, you guys. It says, I feel like you should have some whiskey and cigars for this painting. <laughs> for sure. We've got a cigar. I didn't put any whiskey or chili peppers in the painting. I feel like it has so much going on with roses. It's got these feathers and this bird and so much of the vive or the vev. So I decided to kind of not put everything I could. <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that can that channel that had 315,000 that was shutting down it was really interesting. I think it was just because somebody said we have 18 people in chat. Um, and she was only getting a few thousand views on each of her videos, even though she had that many subscribers. I want to do a flat black hair with, um, with the um, Scarlet Nymph palette. And I think that we need to do a white circle and a very pale purple around the edges so that The white skulls will pop in the purple, but also the black hair and the black hat needs to pop. So our background needs to be relatively light because all of our items in the picture are going to be relatively dark. And then all of these, all of this line work is going to be, um, traced over in a thick black pen. So all of this here and these here will be 
all traced traced over and made to pop as well so I think it's a really minimal palette I think we're probably good with just these few colors a little bit of green for the roses leaves Cauldron Born says maybe they were bots. It's possible, but I think what happened was she'd been on YouTube for so long. She'd built up this large subscriber base, but her content had changed over the years. So people who had subscribed earlier weren't coming back to watch later. I think she was so young when she started. Everybody expected her to keep the same style, and then and she didn't. Okay. Get in here with the purples. Oh, that purple is so beautiful. I'm going to do the hat in this really dark purple. And it's also going to be added to the chicken feathers, which are going to be black and purple because this black is pretty flat. I mean, it's just like inky. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do that pale purple background to start so it can dry. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Oh, I made it too thin. <laughs> I was so scared I made it too thin. Okay, there we go. I bought some new watercolors. I haven't updated my watercolors since I started the channel. And I still have plenty from the old set. I just wanted to um, update my watercolor palette and make a new palette for 2024. I'm excited to um, be starting new paintings in the new year that are not going to be the goddess ones. So I'm going to be painting um, art for an Oracle deck. And I want them to be very, um, have like a very specific palette that I don't vary or, um, change from too much. So I'm going to be thinking about that over the next month, really kind of honing into the top maybe 20 colors that I want to use, or maybe 24, like pick a, pick a palette size and then just stick to that and try to not uh, move out of the, that color, those colors for the entire deck so that it has cohesion. All of you guys who stick with me through the whole painting, even when it looks hideous at the beginning, I appreciate you because <laughs> it always comes together at the end. And because the card is so narrow, the sides get cut off. So you'll see me just kind of leaving the sides plain.
I think this is good. I think a pale purple is the answer. Because there's going to be so many elements of purple. Once I get the background in, I'm going to tell you guys about my in-person meetup to celebrate the five-year channel anniversary. Get out your calendars and your date books if you think you want to come. I can't look at chat for one minute here because as I'm doing the background, it's drying. It's 90 degrees here today. So I can't stop or else it's going to dry weird. So I have to keep going wet into wet. But I will look at the chat as soon as this background is filled in. Need a smaller brush to continue. And kind of see where these hard lines are going to dry. Yikes, go faster. Too late. Well, you can always make it darker, but you can never make it lighter. Luckily, I go in at the end with Photoshop and fix up all the errors. I'm pretty happy with that. That's not perfect, but it's, it's definitely a background.
Karen says, I'm subscribed to many channels I don't watch regularly and often take breaks from watching videos. The algorithms are hard to understand too. Bridge says, indigo water is made with anneal, which our grandmothers used to make white laundry even whiter. Yeah, I think it's called bluing. Or at least my grandmother used to have something called bluing in a bottle in her laundry. I guess the idea is if you add blue to something that has been stained, such as coffee or something warm, it's going to take the warm away. S. Brock is here. Hey. I'm going to stop messing with it. I'm going to let this dry. Ooh. My Lorraine says, so dry today, I had a nosebleed. It's extremely dry. What is going on? It's the 1st of November and it's 90 degrees at my house. So while we're waiting for this to dry, I want to tell you guys about my five-year channel anniversary. It's going to be on January 30th, 2024. So I wanted to start telling everybody on November 1st, I'm going to start making posts on Instagram and Facebook and all the places. Um, I'll probably post a few times on Patreon as well if you're a patron. If you're not a patron, you can always follow my channel for free on Patreon. You don't have to be a paid member to get the free posts. So that's always an option. And then um, I'm also going to be making a few videos kind of almost like commercials to let people know about it as well. So I have put together a website and I wanted to share it with you guys. And there is a link below and there's also a link in my newsletter, which came out today. So if you are subscribed to the newsletter, you'll also see this in there. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, you can subscribe at the link below. Uh, so the five year channel anniversary is coming up in January. So I'm going to be promoting it pretty heavily in case people want to come to an in-person meetup. So it'll be, um, first opportunity I've had to actually meet people in person. So if you're in Southern California and you're interested in coming, this is the information. I also have, um, the idea of like after the lunch part, which is at the Disneyland, um, picnic area, which is not inside the park. It's outside of the park. So you don't have to buy a ticket to get into the park to do this. It's a free event. Um, but after, after the lunch, I'm also uh, excited to meet up with people inside the park if anybody wanted to go into Disneyland. I have a one day, one park pass for Disneyland that day. So it might be fun to do something like ride rides or get dinner or watch fireworks or a parade or see an attraction of some kind or a show. So yeah, I'm excited about it. And I hope anybody in Southern California who's interested in coming should come. The website has all sorts of stuff about the location, food suggestions. If you want to bring a packed lunch or if you want to buy food on site, um, and just, ideas about meeting up inside the park later 
how to park and how to get into the property because you practically need a PhD to get through the property sometimes. And um, just general information, what you can bring in, what how to get around, just stuff like that, where to park. And then if you're coming, I want to make swag bags for everybody. So I originally, this was my idea for swag bags, but I think I'm going to go with something smaller because nobody wants to tote something around all day in the parks if they're going to go in. So anyway, check out my website. It's at the, in the linked below the, the stream. That's my little commercial. I'm probably going to make something that's a little bit more um, like a real commercial that I can play. So I'm not just chatting with everybody. Okay, I think we're dry. That's dry enough. <laughs> I'm going to do a white, um, shiny, like metallic, one of these guys. Like, I don't know which one. Okay. I think maybe this one has more blue to it. And I'm just going to put this in the little cir in the circle in the little spots that are visible around her. Oh, I should have wet this one ahead of time. My bad. This is a color shift in blue. And I think I like the I like the blue colors and um and just the cool tones. I think we're going to do all cool tones except for the roses. Let's get in a little closer. Karen says, I wish I could join you there. Sounds fun. Well, you know. I'm just going to spam out the invitation to everybody because I know there's got to be some Southern California witches who want to come or some people who just want to have a vacation. And if nobody shows up, that's okay too because I'll be at Disneyland. And you can never have a bad day at Disneyland. That's not true. I've had two very bad days at Disneyland. But out of the many times I've been there, that's not a lot. One time I, I broke my, my ankle, so. I know Scarlet Nymph shows her paints done on a very like thick, but I like to use them thin because look how cool that color shift looks. And this is just the thinnest layer. I'm going to go ahead and just paint right over these lines because I'm going to fill them back in with black pen. Hey, Shamanic Journeys here. Bridge says, I have to go to work. Look forward to watching the replay. How fun. Wish I lived in California. I would visit for sure. I'm just going to keep my expectations low. That way I won't be disappointed if nobody shows up.
because I already know that one person is for sure coming and one person is probably coming. So I know at least two people will probably come. And if it's two, then it's two. Ooh, look at, I wish we had more stuff we needed to fill with this paint because I love it. Hmm. I almost feel like, hmm. I'm going to do the hat, this dark, dark purple. Should I make the band this way? I was going to make the vive white, like a, like a chalk white. No, I'm going to stop. I can always put more over top later. Let's see this flat, flat asphalt black. Yeah, the rooster feathers are going to get the highlight of not only, I think the highlight of the, the navy blue, and they're also gonna get, they're also gonna get this like purple highlight on the rooster feathers right here. Wow, I was not expecting it to be that black. It definitely does not show the shading that I did with the pencil. <laughs> That's okay. It's very dramatic. You have to be really careful with your lines when you do something this dark. How was everyone sowing last night? And also, Happy New Year to everyone. Oof, that is dark. As Brock says, my Florida self would love to come, but family stuff is large in my near future. You are absolutely worth getting to know. Oh, thank you. Helpful got two inches of snow yesterday. <laughs> And now it's it's 90 degrees outside for me. Craziness. Bruja Rubia says, lovely and quiet. Quiet. 
quiet as the grave. Got to get some more of this black going on. Where did I put it? There it is. We did rent saw 10 and that was fun. There's 10 of them now. Helpful says because of the snow, not too many kids here. Mm -hmm. Nice and quiet. More candy for you. Glass half full. Maybe I will go back with some of this black and add in my shadows later. I'm probably using this black a little too thin. Okay, let's let that dry. It's practically dried already. Helpful says this time last week it was 82. <laughs> oh no. Now it's snowing. Elena says we got a few inches of snow also. Rain ruined my bonfire. Fi oh, I can't read. Ruined my bonfire plans. Yes, but Saw 10 is actually a prequel to the first movie. They did the sequel rules and gave us a whole new understanding of the scenarios. Interesting. Helpful says, so same here. We had it all set up and everything. Oh, bonfire plans. Okay, this rooster is also black, so let's get it. Okay, we'll fill that in darker as time goes on. I also wanted to plant some crocuses, but that didn't happen either. Okay, let's see if we can get these uh, a base red down for these roses. And then we're going to fill in with this beautiful magenta. I 
Did anybody make any New Year's resolutions for the Witch's New Year? Today is New Year's Day. If you go by that reckoning, Red Lorraine says, have you seen the black chickens of Southeast Asia? They are so black that their organs are black too. Even their bones are black. Helpful says, I've only seen black chickens on the Food Network show Chopped. I love that show. Do they taste any different from other breeds? Anybody else love that show, Chopped? It's really kind of a gateway show to other cooking shows because um, I've actually gotten my husband interested in watching it. It has the energy of like, if you were stuck with these ingredients, what would you do? And then when the chef doesn't do what you would do, you're like, oh, that guy's going to lose. My idea was so much better. Me sitting on the couch, not lifting a finger, not sweating in the kitchen, but I've got an idea that would have totally won. Like an armchair cook, like a, a champ. Spirit of Ganesh is here. Hello. It says, hi, everyone. I'm finally off work and joining while I make dinner. Welcome. I'm going to see if I can get Glenn to watch it. He's a pretty pure Good Eats fan. Yeah. If you are watching Good Eats, then you do not need a gateway show. You're already in, baby. Helpful says, we watched the entire Halloween Baking Champion this, sh this year ended that it ended on Monday. Oh. Okay, we have our red. I'll let that dry. Moving on. I'm always scared to do the skin tone because if you stop painting and it starts drying. And if it starts drying, it gets gloopy. So I need to pick the appropriate brush. I think this might be the appropriate brush. I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna start with the lightest color and work up.
afraid of making weird patterns. Oh, I was holding my breath the whole time. I gotta do the neck. I don't think I have enough color. Oh my gosh, I was definitely holding my breath on that one. Technically, your shading is supposed to be in pen, not pencil. Bruja Rubia says, gotta run, have a great evening all. Bye, Bruja, see you next time. Thanks for coming in. So we'll let that dry and then we will do another uh, darker color and then maybe another darker color over that. We'll see how it all pans out. <laughs> Breathe. Hey, Inka Tinka Doodle is here. Hi. So the funny thing is, is that this color changing, look at the color changing shiny background looks like the skin color right now, this direction. And then if you turn it this direction, it goes to like that shiny bluish white. Isn't that funny? I love the color changing. So these guys are gonna be in that bone color. This is gonna be in a dark purple. I haven't decided on the band. Should the band be the magenta of the roses? Oof. Inka says, I feel like I'm home. Oh, that makes me feel so good to hear. That warms my heart. So I made a New Year's resolution on Samhain. I've been planning, thinking, scheming. I gotta turn this, I can't take it too left-handed. 
and I decided if you were if you were with me on my um, planning for t November um, planning stream last week, you'll know already that um, I plan to do a no buy, low buy slash no buy for a year. Because I need to save up some money for several different things. And I need to kind of curb an overspending problem that I have. And my best way to do it is cold turkey. So for a year, I am not allowed to buy several things. And I think what I'm going to do is at the beginning of the year or the end of 2023, I think I'm going to do a video explaining all of my rationales and rules and thoughts about it. But as it stands right now, I'm just not allowed to buy any random things for the house, any random arts or craft supplies, any random stuff that I just see on social media that looks cool allowed to just I have a budget for specific things and that is it so that means no makeup no clothes no arts and crafts like paints and supplies and random house things that kind of stuff. Oh, it's looking good. Incognito's here. Hi. Hello. Hope everyone's having an awesome night. Thank you so much. Shamanic had to go. Bye, Shamanic. Band maybe a darker purple. Well, I think we're going to use the very, very, very dark purple for the hat. So I'm not sure what the band is going to be. No, no, not fishing for gifts. Don't need another thing to come into my house for a year. If I could buy nothing for a year, I would still have plenty, 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 plenty of crap. The amount of stuff that I have is, it's ridiculous. Okay, we're doing it. We're going in with this purple and we're just gonna see on the brim. I'm gonna turn it upside down so I can do the brim. More water. Should I put purple under it or over it? It's too late now. I guess the answer is over it. I think I might have used that too thin. It's gonna need a second coat. Okay, I'm gonna put purple underneath.
I'm also thinking about, I've already purchased the watercolor paper that I need for next year to paint my Oracle cards on stream with you guys. So I shouldn't have to be buying any other materials for that. But I'm thinking about actually using the back of the sheet so it doesn't have these bumps in it, or it has bumps, but it, they're much less. Because I'm considering also adding gouache over the top of some of my watercolor. Oh, that looks nice. Art is easier to scan if the paper has less texture. I am finding that out the hard way when I put up my sketch for you guys to paint along. And then I try to remove the texture. And it's a mess. And I don't see why the back wouldn't have the same absorbency. I'll do some tests. For this artwork, I usually just come to the, to the live stream and just hope for the best. But for my Oracle cards, that's not gonna happen. There's gonna be a lot of um, pre-testing. <laughs> Okay, let's let that baby dry a little bit. Inca says, I think that as pagans and Wiccans, we're prone to acquiring goods in abundance. I think what we keep represents the ties to the earth and all its offerings. Ooh, I love that idea. I never really thought of it that way. Spirit of Ganesh says, I love that, Amy. I need to do that, too. I never need anything until I jump on Amazon or walk to TJ Maxx. So true. Inca says, my wardrobe consists of t-shirts and shorts, but I have every craft supply in at least a duplicate, for sure. Incognito says, the painting is looking very beautiful. I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. Might be time to go back in with another layer on the face with a little bit of a deeper brown. Do the thing that scares you. Eee. It's such a dance between not wanting it to be too wet, but not wanting it to be too dry.
Okay, here we go on the face. Everybody hold your breath with me. Okay, I think we did it. Just trying to remove a little bit on the cheekbones so we have a little bit of a highlight. Okay. Okay, everybody can breathe again. Ooh. Helpful says, I'm sucker for eyeshadow palettes. I used to be too, but I think makeup is going to be the one thing that's actually going to be easy for me to not buy because since the pandemic, I've worn so little of the makeup that I have. So we have some light bits for like cheekbones and the bridge of the nose. So I'm hoping to come back in with one more warmer tone later. Let's see what I can do with that. Let's see what we can do with the roses now. And the hat is starting to dry. It's almost probably a little bit, a little bit more. I wet this paint earlier, but it dried up. So redoing it.
going to take a few layers of this. And of course, our black lines are going to really pull the, the, the petals out. There we go, that's the consistency you wanted. This side was a little watery. When I go to Disneyland in November, because I get to go on November 8th for a celebration, I'm going to take my camera and try to get a bunch of footage and make a Disney Magic for Witches video. No promises on how good my vlogging camera style is going to be. Going from a stationary overhead camera to a, uh, a vlogging handheld style might not be the best idea. But I have several little tips and tricks for making Disneyland something kind of witchy and kind of magical. And then my trip after November is, um, we had a ticket that we bought almost over a year ago that we weren't able to use. And so it was going to expire on January 1st. So we had to use it in December at some point. I do not, do not recommend going to the parks in December. I usually avoid that month at all costs. But it was either use it or lose it. <laughs> So we made a, a reservation for Yule. So on uh, winter solstice, we'll be at the park. And Disneyland is definitely not part of my no buy. I'm not going to be walking around Disneyland spending zero dollars. I'll tell you that for free. But I have to say, um, just spending your lunch time at the uh, at the picnic area instead of in the parks, even if you buy food in the parks, you can get it to go. Mobile ordering is everywhere at this point, at almost every restaurant. Not 100%, but close. And I have to say, um, taking your lunch or dinner, dinner's even better if you take an early dinner out into the picnic area, 
you usually have the place to yourself. I can't tell you how many times I've gone out there and I have literally been the only person in the picnic area. Should I go with the pink or should I go with the watercolor purple for the band? or the magenta. Vote in chat if you have an opinion on which what I should do for the band. And I will do the same thing for the brim, probably. The brim and the band. Oh, I'm just reading the chat. I'm sorry I missed all you guys' conversations. Sometimes I just chat to myself and then I look back up and you guys have been talking the whole time and I missed it. I used to be hooked on eyeshadow palettes, but since my vision isn't great now, the way I think I'm doing my face isn't always what I'm really doing. I know when I get the look. <laughs> My daughter uses our old palettes in her mixed media art. Great results, says S. Brock. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. I mean, it, it is mica, right? It's mica powder. Helpful says, same here. I use a lighted 10x mirror, and sometimes that isn't enough. <laughs> I feel the same way as far as like uh, eyebrows, plucking those random bizarre eyebrow hairs look at the lighted the lighted uh, 10x mirror and you're like what 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 what's going on here where did that come from incognito says I love their hollow cheeks see I wanted to do my original idea was to do that dark sunken eye and then to kind of have that what this white that's in the background here kind of go over like the teeth of a skull because she's a psychopomp. She is specifically a, um, I guess, psychopomp or a caretaker or a um, protector of graves that are marked with her consorts, Vive, which is Baron Somdi. And so she has lots of associations with death. And a lot of times you see her face kind of painted with like a skull slightly over it. But I wasn't sure if I could pull it off. So I didn't, I didn't put that in there. It might be one of those paintings where when I finish it, I scan it and then I'll try the technique on it on top of that and see if it worked. <laughs> Cause I'm too scared to do it for the real thing. The rubber band method for the broken lid uh, on makeup is 100%, yeah. So, okay, I think we have 100% votes for magenta. Magenta it is.
we go, I'll do a second coat of that in just a second. Okay, I held my breath for that one too. There's a lot of breath holding in this, in this live stream. So I have a notebook that I uh, prepared for today and for the rest of the year that is just to write down things that I buy. So if I buy anything on my no buy, I have to write down what I purchased, how much I spent, and what it was for. That way it's going to keep me honest. Otherwise, I might make a purchase that just goes unnoticed and then sweep it under the rug. So I'm actually going to keep an accountability notebook for this because I've said I was going to do no buys in the past and I've never actually lived up to it. So this year it's really happening. But this year I had a lot of expenses that came up that were unexpected. Expected and unexpected expenses. I just watched my bank account get lower and lower. I just decided I've got to do something to build it back up to the place where I'm less scared and paranoid. Nice. Looking good. It's getting there. Let's fill in um, some more black because the hair kind of dried out and looks a little Maybe I'll just use it right off the palette.
Oh, and also the chicken. Oop, I almost forgot. Let's get into this blue as well and see if we can't make some highlights on these chicken feathers. Incognito says her colors seem to represent death as well. The colors of her hat look like colors she'd wear to a funeral. Oops, I just got a drip on the paper. Oh no. Oh, I hope that fixed it. Spirit of Ganesh says, I have completely different eyebrows on each side, but I found an eyebrow artist that makes them even. Yep, tatted eyebrows are expensive, but worth it. How much does it cost to have tatted eyebrows? Can I ask? See if we can add some blue. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, I almost wish I could add that to the hair too. It gives it a little depth. Sorry if you can hear the phone ringing in the background. I silenced all of my other devices, but couldn't silence that. Yeah, this purple's getting deep and dark. But yes, definitely for the uh, for the oracle cards, I'm going to use the smoother side of the paper because I want to be able to control every little detail. What would you guys think about a regular deck of playing cards as a size for my oracle deck? I'm really leaning towards actually making something that you can take with you in a purse or a pocket 
and something that is easy to handle, easy to shuffle, and not easy to like damage or ruffle. So I find giant uh, oracle cards so difficult to deal with that I sometimes will pick the smaller deck just because I know I can shuffle it easier. Okay, it's time. It's time to take the leap, the final leap onto the face with the third brown. E, I'm scared. Okay, it'll be fine. My only concern is that um, if it's a small deck, it might not be perceived as as valuable or um, like more inexpensive. And I don't want that. If it takes me a year to make this deck and to do all this artwork, I don't want people to think of it as less than because of a perceived quality. So we're going to put some brown in the irises. I was leaning towards purple, but I think I've done that with a bunch of the goddesses now, so maybe I've overused the purple eye idea. <laughs> Marie, hello Marie and welcome. I read tarot and sometimes the oracle cards are too big for my small hand. So playing cards are more easy for everything. I feel like it's also easy to just feel like you can always have them with you. Kara, hello, welcome. We're waiting for a face to dry. Maybe I can do some skulls. So I have some opaque white here that I put a little bit of black and just a tiny bit of brown in to make a bone color. It's 
kind of give these a quick wash. You really almost have to add barely anything to white to make it a bone color. And just kind of Oh, I knew it. I touched the brown. I knew it. We'll have to fix that one in post. Oof, once that dries. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, since we've only got about 20 minutes left, I'm gonna bring in my pens and start filling in some of the dark places while this dries. We're gonna run out of time. The biggest problem is not knowing if people will buy the deck. So I'm actually thinking about doing a Kickstarter. Pagan Crafting is here. Hello, Amy. Hello, everyone. How is everyone this evening? Marie says a lot of Lenormand decks are regular playing cards and they have the same value. For me, small or bigger deck have the same value. Oh, that looks good. The black pen over the um, really shiny looks really good. I'm thinking Kickstarter because then that way I can know if uh, I can actually fund the fund the idea in the first place. Not sure if all of this is going to make it onto the card because it's kind of a narrow card. But this is this is the painting that's going to be used for my pen pal cards this month. Yeah, that looks good. That stands out quite well. Pagan Crafting says, your painting looks beautiful. Love all the purples. Thank you. Yeah, we decided to go very purple. I almost feel like I love this blue, too, that went in the, the feather. I almost feel like I should have put some blue in the hair. Or I'm going to put some in the... Um, I 
Yeah, and the chicken at the top, I think, for sure. And this is a waterproof fine liner pen, so um, I'll be able to use watercolors over this if I want to as well. Marie says, Kickstarter or presale are a good idea. Spirit of Ganesh says, the face tone turned out great. Oh, we held our breath three times on this face. But thank you. Yes, I'm very happy that it came out good. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side by turning it around because I'm so lefty. And then I think what I'm going to end up having to do is do the vive, and that's in her hat, in white. I wonder if I have a white pen here that will work. kind of does and it also kind of doesn't. Let's get in here close. It's not quite. Oh, I wish that pen was working a little bit better. Elena says, my husband jokingly says that left-handed people are geniuses and more artistic. And why is he joking? Where's the joke? It used to seem like there were very few lefties in the world, and then schools stopped trying to force kids to be right-handed, and all of a sudden there were more of us than you thought. We're everywhere and we're coming for you. Okay, well, that's not the best. But I feel like it's something to work with. I can put more layers or I can try to fix it in Photoshop. Yikes.
There's always that final fallback of Photoshop. starting to get there. Time to get a smaller pen and work on the face just a little bit. Lena says, my mother is naturally left-handed, but she went to Catholic school and the nuns used to slap her with a ruler every time she used her left hand. Wow. I think that um, we might put a little white dot in the eye later. Why can't I make round things round?
Karen wants to know what kind of brand of pin am I using? Good question. STA? This may not be the one you want to use. I think that you want to use a uh, fine liner that's not water resistant. You want something that's waterproof. So I actually, I'm glad I saw that because now I don't want to go back over this with any paint. I was going to make the, I was going to make the cigar darker and mess around with the eyes, but maybe I won't do that. Sometimes in Photoshop, I pick the best eye and then I just duplicate it because I can never get my eyes right. JC says, I'm no artist, but as someone who's been drawing on my office meeting work notes for about 35 years, I never get the eyes the same. Never. <laughs> Photoshop to the rescue. As long as I do one good eye, I can fix the bad eye. Well, you guys... That needs some more work. It's not quite done, but what we did get done in two hours, I think I'm really happy with. So the roses need a little bit of detail and the face needs a little bit more. I think I want to put a little bit of a pink tone into the lips. I want to bring out the cigar a little bit. The skulls need their eyes and uh, their noses for sure.
There we did one skull. You can kind of get the idea of what the rest of them are going to look like at the bottom there. Fix up her little vive there. Maybe get these lines a little darker. But you can generally see that we got 90% of the way there in two hours, so I'm happy with it. Helpful says, eyes are like eyebrows. They're sisters, not twins. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I think I'm going to call it there because it's been two hours straight with no stops. Do the rooster feathers in blue for sure, just like these. Do you think I should put some blue highlights in the hair or should I just leave it matte? I don't know what I like better. I guess it's shiny enough. We have a lot of shiny going on, especially with the roses being shiny too. I might put some burgundy shadows into the roses as well. So I might do about another 20 minutes, but um, I am gonna call the live stream there. Thank you guys so much for watch for watching and for hanging out with me during the whole thing. It was a lot of fun. And this is the second to last goddess picture that we're doing. The final one will be for December and we're doing the Viking or Norse goddess Frigg. But the next, um, why won't this focus? She looks blurry. It's weird because it usually picks out a face. The camera will usually see a face once I get the eyes in, but must have too much going on up here. So yeah, our next live stream is going to be the third Wednesday of the month, which should be Wednesday the 15th. And we're going to be prepping for Yule because, you know, gifts and decorations and stuff like that. So um, Yule ornaments is what we're going to be crafting on that one. So I hope you guys will join me. And if any of you are uh, planner people who come to my planning live stream, that is going to be on Wednesday the 29th. Usually it's on the Friday, but um, I'll be traveling for the holidays to my family, so I won't be able to do it on the Friday. So we're going to switch it to Wednesday the 29th. So the 15th and the 29th are the next two live streams. I hope you guys will join me. Thanks for watching and have a great night.